For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice, on guerrillas by night instead of armies by day. We know why you're out here. God knows I agree with you. But like you, I swore to defend this country against all enemies, foreign, sir, and domestic. It is a system which has vast human and material resources into the building of a Titan a highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligent, economic, scientific, and political operations. Preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silent, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no rumor is printed, no secret is revealed. And no official of my administration, whether his rank is high or low, in civilian or military, should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to stifle dissent cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. The very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society, and we are as a people, apparently and historically, opposed to secret oaths and the secret proceedings. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweigh the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not intend to permit to the extent that it's in my control.